Specialist breast radiologists are very skilled at reading and interpreting the appearances on mammograms. They may see little specks of calcium. These are called microcalcification, and there are several causes of microcalcification, one of which is ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS. In this first mammogram picture, you can see a small area of this microcalcification, uh, which is much easier to see when the picture is enlarged or magnified, as you can see here. In the next mammogram, it's not quite so easy to see this microcalcification as the normal breast tissue shows up white in places. This is because the normal breast tissue in this patient is more dense and appears more white. However, when you magnify this image up as well, you can also see a much bigger area of microcalcification than we saw on the first mammogram. In both of these patients, a biopsy of the abnormal areas is required to know if the microcalcification has been caused by DCIS. In the next set of pictures, you might be able to see two areas of microcalcification. When it's magnified, uh, one of these areas is much easier to spot, but the second area is still difficult to spot on the magnified image. This is why we need specialists to look carefully at the mammograms and report their findings before we make a diagnosis. In the next set of pictures, you can see that the microcalcification comes in lots of different shapes and sizes. The radiologists describe these and the arrangements of the white specks, and then they're all used to describe different types of microcalcification. And this can help the radiologist to decide how likely the abnormality is caused by DCIS. But often the only way to be sure is to take some of the suspicious breast tissue and look at it under the microscope. And this requires us to take a biopsy of the abnormal area. To help you get an idea of what DCIS looks like, this is a photograph of what a specialist pathologist can see looking through a microscope. You can see here a milk duct that's cut through and viewed end on, and you can see lots of cells inside the milk duct. This is a picture of low-grade DCIS. You can see that all the cells inside the milk duct look all the same. In this next picture of intermediate-grade DCIS, the cells look as if they are packed more tightly together and are more varied in shape and size. The centre part of each cell is called the nucleus, and this is also varied in intermediate-grade DCIS. And in the final picture, this is of high-grade DCIS, the centres or nuclei of the cells look even more irregular, and you can see in this picture that some of the cells in the centre of the milk duct are dying. This is a particular feature of high-grade DCIS.